So you want to learn how to be a castle crasher. You've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how to max out all of these stats with the best possible builds. Number one is simply become level 100. It, it'll take a lot of grinding, like I say, but uh, once you get there, you can go and uh, all your stats will be maxed out. So that's 25 points in each stat. This will increase your agility immensely, your defense, your magic, and your strength, so you can deal more damage. Alright, we're going to start with melee here, because it's definitely the best class in the game. The weapon I recommend using is this, the, uh, the Man Catcher. It does 5 strength, 2 defense, and has a 2% chance to crit. It's level 35 unlock, however, it is a DLC weapon. It can dis out some serious damage, but if you don't own the DLC, here's your second best option, the Chainsaw. It can be purchased from the Insane Store for, a, I think it's 1,800 gold, I want to say. Both weapons have incredibly high damage outputs. This one offers 5 plus defense, with a 5% chance to crit the best in the entire game. But I prefer the Mancatcher, so I'm going to go with that. Now in terms of pets, you're going to want to get this elephant right here. That's, that's another 4 plus strength under your belt. I recommend using either a Red Knight for his ability to deal out a bunch of damage with his magic in quick bursts. Or B, that being the bear, because he also has a very offensive ability that can be used alongside a high melee damage. Now we're going to go over a defense build. First thing you're going to want to need is this sword drop from the necromancer once you kill him. He gives 2 magic and 7 defense. For the pet, you're going to want to grab the snail. He gives plus 5 defense. It does drop your agility slightly, but that's the worst stat anyway, so it's irrelevant. In terms of characters, I definitely recommend the blue knight, as his ability goes hand in hand with his defense. It allows you to stop other enemies in their tracks, like so you can then finish them off. Even the strongest of foes only deal little damage to you with this high defense. Look at the health bar. Alright, now we're going to go over the magic build. This is the weapon you're going to want right here, the Unicorn Horn. It adds plus 6 magic, minus 3 attack, unfortunately, and plus 1 defense. You unlock this weapon by killing the Painter boss when his Unicorn Painting is alive. For the pet, you're going to want the Beholder, because it adds plus 6 to your magic. To unlock the Beholder, you need to go to this chain right here and hit it with the Key Sword. For characters, the first one I recommend is the Industrialist. His magic, that being buzz saws that come out of the ground, makes him incredibly effective at shredding bosses and enemies alike. If you don't like playing the game as aggressively, I suggest you take up the king as your character for a mage build. He's the only character in the game with healing magic. That's right, unlimited healing. And if your teammates are close, you can heal them too. You can be kind of like the medic of your squad. Now it's time for everybody's least favorite build, the Agility build. You're gonna want this cardboard roll looking weapon right here. Minus 2 strength, but plus 6 agility. And for your pet, you're gonna want this cat right here. This cat gives plus 4 agility. Look at how fast I run here. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest here. Agility is only useful for one thing in terms of combat, and that's bow spamming. Now, as much as I respect that method, it's inferior to melee in like 10 different ways, so... But hey, if you really want it, go for it. Thanks for watching everyone.
everybody. Please leave a like and subscribe if, you know, you want to make my day. Or you want to see more like this in the future. If you want to see any more guides about Castle Crashers, leave a comment, and I'll probably do it till, like the next day, because I got nothing better to do. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. See y'all later.